All right, uh, my turn for the list here. I, right. I got this idea because um, the B team did a segment recently where we hey, talked about, about um, the B team. Did, yeah, right. Yeah, come on, we don't make it about that. Where, where we talked about um, movies that we loved but wouldn't want to see again. Oh, okay, so okay. I wanted to take it in the opposite direction and, and go with movies with the most satisfying endings. Hmm. You know, so many movies out there, you live, you you leave the theater kind of uh, not feeling great or just you know thinking too much. Sometimes too many loose be, ends. Too many loose yeah. ends. Sometimes movies just need to wrap up and just yeah. have that yeah, great you're ending yeah, me. Yeah. that you just feel amazing yeah. when yeah. you're finished watching it. So I, um, there's no spoilers here because these are all pretty old movies here. All right. Uh, so starting with probably the most iconic action film from the 1980s. They won. <laughs> The celebration on the aircraft carrier, the successful mission. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I just idolized this movie. Really? As a kid. I mean, everyone wanted yeah. to be a, a naval aviator. And uh, actually, the new Top Gun, I think, kind of has a, a equally satisfying yeah. ending. I wanted to play um, volleyball like him more than anything. Right. I think didn't fly a plane, you know? Right. So that's uh, that's my first one here. Um, now, the next one, too, just the the going for the emotion, going for the heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, here. Oh, uh, yeah. And it just bonds every father and son together here. You'll know this one. Good night, Ray. Good night, John. Hey, Dad. You want to have a catch? Get you every time. Every time. Yeah. I'm telling you. I love that movie. I mean, it just makes you feel amazing, right? And then they zoom That's out, and all the dad. cars are lining up. People will come. Yes. Never seen, seen Field, Field of, of Dreams. Uh, this like is an inexcusable I, It really. Yeah. I mean, you like baseball. The this dad looks like he's 10 years younger than him. <sighs> yeah. Don't know that. This is why I quit watching movies, like things like that. Right. Dumb. Oh, jeez. You know what? I could deal with your position a lot more if you were doing stuff that made a that made up for it. You're yeah. having lunch with strangers, <laughs> right? And you think that's more fruitful to life than what? Watching a movie? That some movies they can change your life. Yeah, they oh, can. God. They can. Then you've got bigger problems if you're <laughs> sitting <laughs> waiting for a movie that's to a, make that's your a fair change point. your yeah, life. I wouldn't go that far, Paul. Yeah. Yeah, they man. can be. They, they can be oh, really sure. wonderful. Yeah. Hey, did so, I tell you about the lunch I had with my FedEx guy <laughs> last week? You want to talk about was... changing your life? He is an he interesting guy. Over. I said, "What's your name?" He said, "John." Uh, I said, "John, let's grab lunch." John, have you been to the new Chinese restaurant down the street? My wife won't go with me, so will you? Just is such a 26 years all and I'm he saying, never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, no, he just, God, he looked like he was too young to be his father, is all I'm saying. Yeah, no, you got a point there. That is a big plot hole. Part in the movie. of the plot, you know, yeah. we can go over that's that another time. Yeah, but no. Go on, Dan. Um, well, I, I was trying to think of maybe some uh, this isn't a life transforming movie here, uh, but this is a well, great movie, one of my favorites, where the ending just makes you feel, you know, positive about romance. All oh, right. All right. <laughs> Okay, well then I'll just, uh, I'll wait for you. We, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. My name's Tom. Nice to meet you. I'm Autumn. You guys saw this one? No. No, I never saw this. You didn't see it? Okay. 500 Days of What's Summer. What's the matter with you guys? I haven't <laughs> seen that one before. <laughs> what kind of Americans are you? Don't you know that movies can change your life? What the hell's the matter with both of you? Shame on you. Having lunch with complete strangers. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the premise there? 500 Days of Summer, Zoe Deschanel. Um, it's about that just this. Kelly, that was Minky Kelly, right? Yeah, that wasn't her. She just came in at the very, very end there. She should have stayed. Um, it follows this uh, romance between Zoe Deschanel and, uh, and that guy. But they don't end up together because he's they with someone don't. else. They don't. Well, that's not nice. But the ending is he meets her at the end, and it's 500 days of summer, and her name is Autumn. So it's basically like, hey, he dates summer, and then the season. And then changed. the season ends, but oh, there's always hope that. for someone else if, after a failed relationship. Oh. Ah, that's not always true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I knew Paul would have, have some great commentary for my yeah. list today. All right, well, the next one here, um, you know, it's easy to pick the sports movies, right, because you just end with the right. big game. But this one here just knocks it out of the park. All right, lift it up, lift it up. Here's what we're going to do. Jimmy, they're going to be expecting you to take the last shot. We're going to use you as a decoy. Okay. Buddy, you get the ball, give it to Merle on the picket fence. He's going to take the last shot. What? All right, let's go. Oh boy. Let me guess they win. What's the matter with you guys? <laughs> we're going deep What's into the this cut here. I thought we were just going to show the last shot. But, uh, we'll no, do some build up here. We have time. Yeah. Well, Dan, some of us give the producers time codes for their lists. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, I haven't seen this one, so this will knock this one off. Jimmy Chitwood, he says yes. he's going to make it. you yeah. got to go to your star. All right. Because right. he'll make it in the, in the clutch. Watch your Paul, this is the small school. This is the small school that's playing the huge school. All right. Okay. Okay. David and Dwight. I think you would Horatio love some Alves. of these older sports movies. All right. Yeah. Uh-oh, who's oh, this guy? That's the guy he's trying out from the, trying out the Wild Turkey. The, right, Gene Hackman's the coach. We've got Jimmy Chitwood coming up. Wild Turkey can be really good sometimes. All right. Terry, do we have time? Can we watch the show? Oh, yeah, yeah let's let go. it play out. I've okay. not seen this. All right, beautiful. Let you me guess. You've not Great. seen Hoosiers. The guy who's everyone thinks should make the winning shot's going to make it. Am I right? Just watch. We'll see. Just watch. About can to you see do it? Because everyone's going to be double teaming. That was some chance on the referee, though, and I like the but open button shirt. Be patient. Open that last shot. Come on, Jimmy. Six seconds left. Six seconds. Jimmy, better hurry. Up. Jimmy, you better hurry. Here. Five, four. Oh, Lord, he's going to miss. That's textbook form, though, right yeah. there. Look at this. I thought you said yes. that. Come on. There was only one guy on him. Were... That was like watching Thunder Dan Marley right there with that shot. Huh? Who's yours? Look okay. at that. Who's All right, yours? what's the last one? Okay, Daniel? last one. Uh, Paul, honestly, man, if, if you haven't seen this movie, I mean, I'm yep. pretty sure you have it here. You got to watch this. This is All this right. is probably the greatest ending of any movie ever. Oh, oh wow! I know what this is. Yeah. I hope to see my friend and shake his hand. I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. Is this the end of it? I hope. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> oh, 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 God. 